Welcome to Clifton. Population, 210. This small town is tucked away in a quiet part of Fairfax County in northern Virginia. This town and its railroad played a small part in the Civil War. But that's not all Clifton is known for. According to one popular legend, the town has a terrifying secret. The Bunny Man legend says that on a cold Halloween night, a bus full of convicts was passing through Clifton en route to an insane asylum, when suddenly the bus flipped off the road and crashed into the trees. Many convicts were killed, some survived and escaped. They were soon captured, all except Douglas Griffin. He was nowhere to be found. Strange things begun to happen. Residents found skinned and half-eaten rabbits hung from the railroad bridge on Colchester Road. It was Griffin, the bunny man they called him. Rabbits were his twisted calling card. But soon, residents found human bodies mauled and hung from the same bridge as the rabbits. Despite law enforcement efforts, the bunny man was never caught. Some believe his ghost haunts the old railroad bridge in the surrounding forest. Witnesses and ghost hunters claim that near midnight on Halloween, the bunny man appears under the bridge in a flash of light. And if you're caught standing on the railroad tracks above, you won't live to tell about it. But this is all just an elaborate legend. Or is it? After I learned that Clifton, Colchester Road, and the Railroad Bridge are all real places as described in the legend, I thought maybe it was worth a little looking into. So I found a historian named Brian Conley at the Fairfax City Public Library, who had turned up some interesting research on the Bunny Man over the years. Most legends have some basis in truth even though it's oftentimes warped and hard to recognize. And we just started from the assumption that there were some events that must have occurred in Fairfax County or surroundings that had spawned this legend. And we went out and set out to look for it. Uh, after looking through a couple of weeks worth of newspapers, I found the first mention of the Money Man. In October of 1970, an individual described as dressed in a bunny suit uh, attacked a couple that were parked in a car near Burke, Virginia apparently is said to have uh, confronted them with some, uh, some kind of a line having to do with your trespassing or, or something close to that and threw a hatchet through the car window. Uh, you know, a couple drove off, no one was harmed. A couple of weeks later, the same individual, we assume, also dressed in, in white, vandalized a house under construction in the same area. It led me to conclude that this, this event, bizarre as it is, really was the genesis of the story. But was this just a copycat of the psychotic Douglas Griffin Bunny Man? Or was this entire Griffin legend just some made-up story based on this bunny suit wearing weirdo? I still had no links between the Bunny Man and the bridge. So, my friend Sam, who knew all about the legend, decided to take the chance and check out the bridge on a Halloween night. It's like straight out of a horror movie or something. The old broken down fences and, and woods, and old train tracks, and no one really close. <laughs> like walking into it, it's almost, almost like the second I pass into the bridge, I just kind of get like chills. It seemed like, especially when you walked under the bridge, you just kind of hit this wall of something that just kind of sent a chill through your body. 
it definitely gave me an eerie feeling the whole time. It's definitely something about being in a tunnel that makes you feel so trapped. <laughs> it's probably the fact that you are. And when we went up on the train tracks, uh, that feeling just intensified. Um, it was it was like as we were walking up the path, this feeling just kind of got thicker in the pit of my stomach. Um, that just something was weird about it. Something was off. There's you. Another trespassing. Probably a good idea. in my freaking pants right now. Uh, apparently, the uh, bunny man usually appears on these train tracks around midnight, and right now I think it's around 11.50. <laughs> so, uh, say, we go back down on the road before we get ourselves cut. I kept hearing noises, um, catching shadows and stuff out of the corner of my eye, and that was terrifying. I got out of there as soon as I could. What the? Like from from my angle, because there's like light underneath it and stuff like that. It looks like something's honestly like dangling from the bridge. I say we call it a night. <laughs> Head back to the truck. And just, just as we were getting ready to leave, a policeman rolled up. And right off the bat, he came out and started yelling at us. He even went so far as to threaten us and say that if we didn't hand over our tape, we would be on the ground in handcuffs. Um, I don't know if he really was within his legal ability to do that. Why take that footage? Luckily, they didn't know we had another tape of footage, um, so we still have some left, but I don't know. The way the police handled it really just made me think that much more. What are they trying to cover up? He was so insistent upon the fact that nothing had happened there, that there was, there was no bunny man. People should try to find out for themselves um, because there definitely was something weird that happened to me there. Um, and I think that, you know, people should really make those decisions on their own and do their research. Um, but if I had to tell someone, I, I would say that there was definitely something weird about the whole situation. The Bunny Man Bridge. Some call it one of the scariest places in the country. Other people think the legend is just another made-up story. And maybe they're right. But after my strange encounter with the local police, I think maybe, just maybe, there's a little more to this than meets the eye.